Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. On this particular site, what happened is I had two boilers out of nine that were not working. I sort of gave up on them because I spent like a day on one of them trying to get them on, washing the burner down, this and that, taking phone calls, sending emails, and was a little bit distracted. And I didn't really take it that serious. On this particular day, I did. I said I was gonna stay here until someone drags me away in order to fix them because it was creating a lot of noise in terms of it was going around the world in, of people saying like, oh, I can't be fixed. And then everybody's involved. So I just said, no, this needs to get done. So I went back, got pen and paper out and wrote down, what is the issue? So I turned off the boilers as soon as I walked in. And this time I didn't care about anybody's services being off. I just thought, I need to get it done. I said, what do I need? Gas valve needs to open. Yep, I could see that. I checked resistance on the gas valves and then they were within the right mega ohm readings. So that was good. And then I was like, what's next? Obviously I need a spark. That's what I need, I need spark. And then I need rectification. So I got the spark. I did my checks, I need the gas valve was open and then I was like, I need to check the spark. Then what happened? I, I changed the spark generator and the spark lead from the generator to the igniter. And that's all was what was required on both boilers. And another thing I learned from this is try not to get distracted by anybody when you're working focus on what you're doing and be determined to fix it write down what you need to this is what it was on both boilers okay bye bye, bye.